here to tell you about the amazing programs we have for adults going on in February. So first of all, our Cyber 101 classes will be continuing on Saturdays, February 3rd, 10th, and 17th. And those classes are from 2 to 3 p.m. And each week um, is a different topic. So February 3rd, we'll address um, email security. February 10th will be about passwords, and February 17th will be about browsers. We have a blood drive going on on the 28th of February in the community room from 12 to 5. We also have our ongoing Easton Yarnsmiths group, which meets every Tuesday from 3.30 to 4.30. And that is a group that's for seasoned um, knitters or crocheters and they get together and um, share ideas and socialize and work on their projects and just have a lot of fun. Our uh, regular adult book clubs are continuing this month and we have on February 8th our Year of Wonders book club will be discussing um, a work of nonfiction which is Master Slave Husband Wife by Ilion Wu and then on February 15th, our Beyond Reading book discussion group will discuss The Stolen Marriage by Diane Chamberlain. And that's our evening group that meets at 7. And the, um, the other group, the, the February 8th group, meets at 10.30 in the morning. Also, we are very excited for our One Book, One Town community read. Uh, which is We All Want Impossible Things by Katherine Newman. So we have multiple copies available for checkout. And the author, Katherine Newman, who lives in Massachusetts, will be visiting the library on February 24th at 2 o'clock to talk about the book, to uh, sign and sell books, and answer questions. So please join us for that. It's a, it's a really good book, um, and I think she's going to be a really interesting speaker. And last but not least, we have our art exhibits going on. Um, we have continuations of Rick Senft, which is called Sky, Water, Sand, and Beyond, and that's going on in our conference room through February 15th. And we also have a continuation of our glass display case uh, display, which is Alvin Tresselt. He's a ch he was a children's book author and graphic designer, and that's also going on through February 15th. And then starting on the 16th, we have uh, Gene Moore with his Synesthesia Collection. And that will be happening in the glass display case and the conference room. And he will have a reception on February 24th from 3 to 5. And we also have the Arts Council is sponsoring a Black History exhibition, which begins on February 11th in the community room and they will have a reception on Saturday, March 2nd from 5 to 8. So please come join us. We've got a lot of great programs. Um, and we look forward to seeing you. Hi, I'm Christine from the Easton Public Library and I'm here to share with you programs we have coming up in February. So we have our ongoing Little Ones programs that happen weekly. On Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 10.30, we have Toddler Bebop, which is for walkers up to age three. That is our music and movement class, and it's wonderful. Then on Wednesdays at 11.15, we have Baby's Boogie, which is a lap sit class for babies birth to walking. And we also have our preschool story time, which is on Thursdays at 2.15. That is for ages three to five, where we learn some pre-literacy skills. We have a story and a related craft. And then once a month, we have preschool play, which is also for ages three to five. And this month it is on Wednesday, February 28th at 2.15. And that is specifically designed for preschoolers and every month it's a new fun activity. Um, we also have our Saturday programs once a month. This month it is going to be Saturday, February 24th. And at 11 p.m., I'm sorry, 11 a.m., we have a family story time. And then at one o'clock, we have Steam Corner. That's for grades K through five. And it's every month is a different fun STEAM activity. Um, in February, we also have Bookworm Crafters, which is our book club for grades K through one. 
where we will read a book together, an early reading book. Kids are allowed, if they like or if they prefer not to, read out loud to boost some skills. And then we have a related craft, and that is Monday, February 26th at 4.30. And we have our innovation space open hours in February, where you can come in and see all that our innovation space has to offer from puzzles to programming. And that is on Thursday, February 22nd from 3.30 to 5.30. And it is a wide range of ages from six to 18. So come on in and see what we've got going there. On Thursday, February 1st at 4.30, we have, I think, the third annual Truckapalooza, which is just an amazing program. It's for kids ages two to five. We're gonna have roads laid out on the, on the ground. We have trucks to play with, coloring pages. We have a video. It's just a great time for any little car or truck lover. So please um, check out our library events calendar and register for that one. We also have Lego Master Builders, which meets once a month. And this month that is Thursday, February 29th at 4.30. And that is for grades K through five to come in and get creative and build anything you want out of Legos. Um, Saturday, February 3rd is Take Your Child to the Library Day, which is a wonderful initiative that's statewide that encourages families to come in and see all the things that libraries have to offer. Throughout the day, we will be offering a um, make your own bookmark craft to everyone who comes and brings their child. And Wednesday, February 7th, we have Camp Out in the Library. That's in the evening after the library closes. It's from 6.30 to 8.30. And that is for families. And bring your, your kids and your, your friends to come and we put up tents within the stacks. And we're gonna have even a fun camping craft books, play some of the games that we have, do puzzles, hang around. It's a really nice little evening for families. And for teens, we have Rock the Shelves, which is on Thursday, February 8th at 3.30 p.m. That is for anyone in grades 6 through 12, and we will be making friendship rocks. So you can come in and decorate a beautiful friendship rock, and then we will put them up and around on the shelves to cheer other, all people up who come through the library. And then, ooh, for all your college um, headed folks, we have Successfully Navigate College Admissions in 2024, which is a virtual program. And that is for um, kids in grades nine through 11 and their parents. And that helps, um, uh, helps figure out ways to understand the whole college application process, um, what the best ways are to um, lead up to that and the experts from Stand Out for College will take care of all of that. So if you would register on our events page, you can come and take part of that. It's an amazing um, program, really helpful. That's at 7 p.m. And then February is Black History Month. We have a huge, beautiful display of books for Black History Month here in the library. And then we're also having a Black History Month exhibition. That starts February 11th, and it runs through March 16th in the community room. And we are going to have um, an underground railroad quilt made by local and national quilters. There will be cover art from James Baldwin Review. And there are going to be students from, Colum I'm sorry, sketches by students from Columbia University. So it's gonna be a beautiful uh, multimedia great celebration of art. And February is also Valentine's. So we are gonna have our wall of love up in the library near the circulation desk where you can come in and add your feelings of love to the wall by a post-it note so we can all share in the love together. So I hope that you can come in and join us for some of these wonderful programs.